Hi guys, welcome back to Motor City Makeup Mama. I'm Sarah and thank you for joining me tonight. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Sephora Play Box. Um, it is pretty amazing. Um, I have been subscribed to the Sephora Play Box since May. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done a review before this. I just always seem to like run out of time um, and then I feel like it's old and like we're moving on to the next box already so I just got my box I'm very excited and I can't wait to show you all about it so um, I'm gonna show you kind of like the back so that you don't see my address I don't want that all over um, it comes in like a small black and white striped box like this it's a four block play, play box is ten dollars a month which is not bad it's the same exact price as the ipsy box and the products are are better quality. They're Sephora quality. I like it so much better than Ipsy. It's not just mostly drugstore products. And plus, I totally end up like me and Sephora, we're like this BFS now. So, anyway, um, the first thing that comes in the box that you're going to see is a pamphlet like this. Um, and it's going to tell you all about all the products that are in the box. Plus, right on the front is your Sephora Play Pass. And your Play Pass um, not only gives you 50 extra bonus points to your Beauty Insider account, which is awesome, but it also like lets you go into the store and you can try out all the different products and they'll actually show you how to use them. It also um, lets you into some events. I haven't seen an event here in Michigan yet, um, but they're exclusive to Sephora Playbox subscribers and you have to get in on them here pretty early. Um, like I said, I haven't had one yet here near me at my Sephora, but anyway, it's awesome. So this month is called Best in Glow. There's always a theme. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Yep. So um, it's going to tell you a little bit about all of these products. So we're going to kind of do this together. So um, I'm going to leave this open over here. So this is what it comes in. You always get this really cute little like cottony canvas bag um, with a picture about the theme. And let's start digging in. What's the first thing I pull out? Um, the This is by Laura Mercier and it's a rose gold caviar stick eye color. And it's a multi-purpose high pigment eyeshadow stick that glides on and blends easily for transfer proof all day wear. Um, so it's just lightly brush it over your eyelids or lash line for subtle glow or build um, for multiple layers to be crease resistant. It is very pretty. Just like a very pretty, like it's rose gold. And you know, it's truly, it's rose gold. It's very, very nice. Um, I'm gonna highly recommend this product. Ooh, and it's not like, I'm rubbing it with my finger and it's not smudging off, it's not coming off. I really gotta do something with these lights. I have to figure this out. Okay, the next product I'm gonna pull out is, um, oh, a sample of Stella McCartney's Pop. And it says, it's um, sandalwood notes in there. Let's smell it, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. It's a little floral. It just smells like alcohol right now. I hate when I do that when I freshly spray. Oh, pretty. I don't love the sandalwood. I'll probably spritz it a few times. We'll use it up. But um, I'm not a big fan of any like sandalwood, the rosewood. I don't like woods in my perfume usually. So, um, but pretty, just not my style. The next thing is by Caudalie Paris. It is a cream moisturizing sorbet. And it says, um, it's a lightest air moisturizer that's gentle on easily irritated complexions. And I do get irritated sometimes. Um, can be applied to the face any time of day. It's just got like a light, very florally kind of perfumey scent. I don't know if it should be unscented maybe, but ooh, oh, it's so light. Very soft on the skin. And not like oily, like I hate when your moisturizers make you feel like oily and it's thick. I don't like that. So this is, this is really nice. Oh, it smells so nice. Okay, next, this is the thing I'm most excited about. I actually screamed when I opened my box when it came in. My husband kind of laughed at me. And this is a sample of the Glam Glow Face Mask. And it is the um, Youth Mud, which has the charcoal in it. 
I am so excited about this. I'll probably do a whole separate video on masks coming up within the next week or two and you'll get to see me try it out and hear what I thought about it. Um, it says to let it soak in for 10 minutes and then remove using water in circular motions to help exfoliate. People are raving about the Glam Glow masks. They're pretty expensive. Um, I know I think they're like 30 something dollars for a face mask and I'm just not used to paying that. So I'm really excited to try it out and see if the hype is really gonna match up to the Glam Glow um, name and everybody's just so excited about it. So I'm really, really excited. Plus we all know how much I love charcoal because it pulls all those toxins out of your skin. So I'm really excited about that. Um, next is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. Where is it at? Uh, a pea, blend a pea sized amount into clean moisturized skin before putting on makeup, um, hence the primer part. And I don't know, I, I'm trying a lot of different primers right now to see what I think. Oh, it's nice. You know what? It actually filled in like the pores on my hand. Um, I'd be excited to try that underneath my makeup to see how that's going to help. And then the last one is Kiss and Gel. This is the Ultra Brilliant Gel Gloss. It's Sephora brand in pinup pink. Here it is. I should have opened this one before I started the video. We'll see what it looks like. I love everything pink. My lips are often pink. Oh, come on. Sorry guys, taking me a minute. There we go. Okay. It's a very cute little tube. Oh, it's got a nice pink tint to it. You can see it kind of there on the screen. And it's, I'm just gonna put it right here. It's not sticky, which is good, because I wasn't sure, I was trying to figure it out. It doesn't feel sticky, which is great, because I hate a sticky lip gloss. Um, anyway, so that is the Sephora Playbox for this month. Um, I will figure out the value of it, because it's way more than $10, I can tell you right now, because I'm pretty sure the sample of that Glam Glow face mask is $10 alone. Um, anyway, so if you liked this video, if you want to see more like it, go ahead, hit subscribe below. Go ahead and like my Facebook page. Thank you for joining me. Have a great night.